<clears throat> Alright, let's see if I still got it. <clears throat> uh, okay, you told me that you love me, but you didn't. I guess that that's okay. I was just wondering why you did it. I guess it doesn't matter. It's just all another figment of my imagination. Yeah, I'm caught up in this fake shit. But lately, I've been thinking, and I think that I have changed. Thinking all was sense about the sense that I'ma have to make for the kids of generations yet to come. I wanna make the best impression that I can and make more than just pocket change. But I gotta range from old school to the new new, to the trap drums to the old drums, and I make blunt statements, but I don't roll blunt. My friend just smoke. Him, and that's blunt and yeah, my daddy smoking says he keep him in his car yeah everyone always out with the old and with the new why can't we miss it and make a new brand cause you know that we all coming from the same strand with the same stride and the same strife and the same attitude with the same pride and the same love and the same hate and the same perseverance to make bang gotta stack up cause you know I got family I am just trying to make all of them happy I want them all to have food in their place I want them all to be comfortably placed maybe I just want a Rolex maybe I just want a flesh maybe I just want a diamond on top of my wrist so you know that I work for what I had I just want a million things but mostly I just feel the shit within me cause I know lots of people People that don't, but they still with me, and that's the masterpiece within me. Cause I know who I am, and I got all this shit within me, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, damn, I need to breathe. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so one night I went out to a party, my brother told me that I could be anything that I wanted to be, no matter how broke or how poor I was, no matter how much money I had to spend on equipment, that shit don't matter, it's what's inside, he told me that no matter what I do, I couldn't hide, I had to keep it real and just keep writing them rhymes, it don't matter what you look like on the outside, just keep it calm and keep that shit rolling just like some ties. You can't give up, no matter what, just keep pushing even when you running out of luck Cause you need luck to win, boy you got some talent Now go show the world the truth about the talent Yeah I was three when all this started, I was in the bathroom of a park when I heard music bopping from that moment on I started playing the drums, my brother from the slums, he told me that my shit went hard My papa and my mama was an inspiration, my dad had played the guitar since he was eight and They both had music in their blood, guess they passed it on Now I'ma feel the dreams that they was working on since they was young Yeah, but I got a feeling in me that I finna make it big With the music in my heart and soul, I know I got it did To get it out, unleash the potential within me, the peace within me, the monster within me cause I know that when I spit these bars on the mic I'm winning the inner battle that we fight so unforgiving when we lose the chances that we had from the beginning but I won't lose it promise to y'all that I'll be grinning yeah I know that I found what truly makes me happy what truly makes me feel alive when I stand up start rapping when I make a beat put together all the tones when I hear the melody mix it with some double boom yeah well I gotta say that it's been nice to inform you I hope you understand me better and what I had to go through what I feel in my bones and why I do this I hope you know that I'll go through it to get me to it what I've always dreamed of yeah it's just fire Come on, that's, that shit's pretty good. I don't got any other lyrics, it's just, I just made like a little outro. No, no. I just, I just got like a little, uh, like a little outro here. And then I just kicked it. With just the bass. That was nice, I got a, I got a, whoop. Nah, it was just a little, I, I added something at the end, I just wanted it to be like, the drum. The, the kick drum, the snare, and the bass guitar, because, I don't know, I just thought it'd be like a cool little outro. What inspired you to write this? Uh, first of all, I've always just, like, like, I love music. Since I was, like, a little kid, like, um, when I was, like, was that, from the time I was two, I already was, like, well, my dad, um, was in a band. I play in a band. That's fun. I was in a band. My dad was in a band, and then his um, his best friend Doug was a really good drummer. So he always had drums because he used to live with uh me and my dad. Not live with us, but like I live with my mom. And when I went to my dad's house, he was always there because he was living with with my dad at the time. So um, he always would just sit me on the drums and he would teach me stuff and like it was cool. And then when I was four, I started beatboxing. When I was five, I started getting into rap. When I was like eight, I had. I was going off like everybody already knew from the time like I was eight. Everyone was like, "Yeah, they're like this kid's gonna be something in the music industry." And then, just like over the probably like a year ago, that's when I started to think about like writing and like producing. I started with just producing, and then I realized that like, well, I, I always listen to like J Cole, Jid, um, 
Travis Scott, just guys that have like a like a niche market, like something different. So I was like, I got I could do something different. I gotta do something different. I gotta make music. I gotta you know. So I started writing, and um yeah. So one reason just because I I love music, and I especially love hip hop, rap, R and B, soul, anything, and like usually like Detroit culture, Atlanta culture, um. I also like jazz and stuff, but um, don't say you like jazz, please don't. <laughs> I know. And then um, yeah, but all also because me and my mom have been uh, we live. It's not like a bad or it's not bad or nothing, but we live in like a little mobile home. And since the time I was like born, pretty much as soon as we moved out from being with my dad, we moved in with uh. My grandma and my grandpa for a while, when well, my mom looked for a job, and it was it was kind of bad. They took her, it took like it took like a year, over a year, for this one place to respond. So then she finally got a job at um, in TJX at TJ Maxx out in uh, Ann Arbor. So it sucked when I was a little kid because she always had to drive like an hour plus to get to work and then an hour plus to get back. So um, yeah, that sucked. But anyway, we always. I mean, we I'm not like it's not horrible. I mean, obviously, I have an Xbox, you know. I got a TV. I got food on my plate. I'm thankful for all that. But um, you know, the, compared to like the area we're in, I'm definitely on like really low income. And I feel like I looked up like what's like the what what is it considered for someone to be like poor? And <laughs> we're definitely in like the poor uh side of things. But you know, it's you know I never had like a bad outlook on it. That's all right. But, um, yeah, I just, at the rate it's going now, in order for my mom to pay off debt and have enough money for retirement, she's going to have to work till she, like, like, 80 or, like, 75 or some shit like that. And I was, like, as soon as I, like, found that out, I was, like, hell nah. I was, like, I got to do something to, you know, I, I can't have my mom work until she's, like, 80. So I was, like, I got to get off my ass and do something. So I started rapping. And then I, I like, knowing where rap comes from, it comes from... You know, people that have it a lot worse than me, but it also comes from people just like me, you know, not in the best situation financially. So it's something that like, you know, you know, you know what I mean, right? Just somewhere that people can make money in, you know, support their family. The I always said the first thing I do when I blow up, because I know I will, because I, I have, um, I'm amazing. But the first thing I do when I blow up, I'm definitely going to get my mom a house. That's like the first thing I wanted to get my mom like retired get my dad retired just, everyone's retired and get my mom a house my dad's already got a house that he likes but it's in kind of like a bad neighborhood what is your favorite food my favorite food besides ramen my favorite food is probably noodles with alfredo and fettuccine fettuccine noodles with alfredo sauce and broccoli and shrimp but it's kind of funny because i can never afford to eat like the only time we can actually eat it is if we get like like the canned like alfredo sauce for like two dollars so i think i've only i've only been to olive garden like a couple of times but um i mean usually the pasta is kind of expensive so whenever we go i don't get it that much but it's just olive garden's just like a local thing for us but um yeah so whenever i've gotten the pasta though it's so good it's like probably my favorite food what's the first thing you're gonna do when you make a bunch of money buy my mom a house that's Definitely number one. Then after that, I might splurge out. I might get a cool chain. I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy a car. What, Not what like, kind of car? I don't want, like, I don't want nothing like too flashy though. I'll probably start with something like, maybe just like a. Ch I'd be okay with like a Challenger or something like that. Well, I mean, if I'm like, well, right now I'm supposed to get my dad's. Um, my dad had a a Chevy Cruze from like. Well, yeah, but I mean, a lot of rappers immediately, as soon as they make money, they're like, I'm going to go and get a LaFerrari for $2.7 million, you know? I'm like, nah. I'll probably end up getting, like, some shitty, like, multicolored car, or, like, one of those garbage cars with all the different colors. Hold on, hold on. Just in case anybody wants to hear this, my album is coming out March of 2019. And it's called Toxicality. And my name is Truth, all caps. Somehow, I don't know how that wasn't taken already because that's like a really generic name. But nobody... No, not like... Mm -mm. On SoundCloud, but nobody that's ever been signed. 
you know what I'm saying? So, well, like, also, though, I'm not going to be rapping on SoundCloud anymore. I'm going to, my album is going to be on Spotify, and hopefully I'll be able to get it to stream on Apple Music, and also I'll be selling hard copies, like CDs, and if it goes, I might make a couple of vinyls of it, just in case anyone really likes it. Like, if somebody DMs me and says they really like it, I might make them, like, a vinyl of it for, like, like 20 bucks or something, but, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, man. All, all y'all people, I might come back and do some more shit later, but right now I gotta go do a dumb school report thing, so, yeah. Remember when that kid, when I was little, when we were walking, yeah, the kid was pissing on the slide. Wait, actually, you guys might want to hear this. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah. It's like a whole, it's like, sh like, block, crip. Blood, sh okay, not Crips and Bloods, but it's like it's real gang shit over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Dylan, so this one time when we were little, we were walking by uh Webster Park, and there's this kid like pissing on the slide, and I was like, dude, I was like, what are you doing? Well, I well I didn't actually like cuss, but I was just like mad at him. I was like, what are you doing? I was like, you can't do that. I'm like, some kids are gonna like slide on that, and they're gonna slide and piss. He's like, yeah, that's the point, dude. He came up to me. I honestly was scared of, for like my fucking life. He grabbed me. He started choking me out. I like I. I remember he choked me for like like a whole like I was running out of breath and I was like Ugh. and I remember everything started looking kind of black and hazy and I really like couldn't breathe like he was choking me so hard and it was like crushing my neck and I remember for a second I mean I was I was only little so I didn't really know but for a second I was like oh my god I was like am I gonna die from like this dumbass choking me because he's pissing on the slide is that really how I'm gonna die and then like that's honestly what I thought and then yeah, and then Caleb, this kid Damien we were hanging out with, bro, he didn't do nothing. He was, he was sitting there, he was just watching me get choked, like, okay. But then Caleb came up, this is our other friend in the neighborhood, Caleb came up, just punched the kid fucking square in the jaw, where he punched him square in the face, and punched him a couple times, the kid was down for a second, then we ran back to get my dad. My dad, oh, my dad was not messing around. He just, he pulled up on the bike. He just, rode, he rode his ass over there. And he was like, he looked at this kid so, like, he just stared at him. And the kid looked like he was so scared. It was awesome. That one question pretty much explained everything. A little bit, a little bit about me. I mean, it's not everything about me, everything I've been through. But it's like <laughs> a little bit about me. It's like a general thing. I don't know. That's that cool. one question turned into an essay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.